I guess after my quarters match, I saw um, everything the NBA was doing, and then I felt like I also needed to raise my voice too. Um, so I called Stu, my agent, and we talked it over. And then we called the WTA, um, and they said that they would love to support, um, and they were going to push play back a day. So I put out my statement, um, and I feel like this is where everyone gets confused because I didn't say I was going to withdraw from the tournament. I just said I wasn't going to play the next day, and today is Friday, and when I posted it was on Wednesday. So um, I think that's where there was a bit of confusion. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's been kind of hectic, and I honestly haven't been able to get that much sleep yesterday. So. I'm glad I was able to win today. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, it was it was hard and easy at the same time. Um, it was hard because I felt like I put myself in a really good position. Um, and when I was practicing during quarantine, I, I, all I thought of was playing tournaments. So just to be in the semis of a tournament, I felt was something that I could really be proud of. Um, and I don't know, for me, in that sense, it was also at the same time easy because I felt like I needed to like raise my voice and um, if withdrawing from a tournament would cause the most stir, then um, it's something that I would have to do. I don't feel like I'm being brave. I just feel like I'm doing what I should be doing. Um, yeah, so honestly, when people say courageous or anything, I, I don't really resonate that well with it. Um, I just feel like I'm like not common sense, but this is what I'm supposed to be doing in this moment. Um, honestly, yes, because I feel like the players are raising their voice more, especially Coco. I love her for that. Um, she seems to be taking charge both on and off the court, so it's really nice to see. And um, yeah, it would. I feel like maybe this generation of tennis players won't be too scared of the consequences of saying things that are on their mind, and that would be really nice to see. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, Billie Jean King was super nice to me for some reason. Um, and she always texts me support, so it was really cool. Um, she actually just texted me a couple minutes ago, but yeah, it's, it's really cool to have like a legend in the game just supporting the things that you do and um, make you feel less stressed about the decisions that you made. And about the other players, I would say like, if I was in a position where I didn't know that much information, I wouldn't make a comment either, so. I know both of them as people and they're both really nice and if I don't know I, I would I feel like you're kind of trying to dig a little bit to be honest um, but yeah I would say if there was an issue I think they would come to me face to face um, yeah I mean for me it's definitely a bit eye-opening but in an odd way because I only previously thought like the big three and Serena would have that type of power. Um, but also at the same time, I recognize the fact that maybe the WTA and ATP wanted to do something like this, but they needed a push from a player to do something like this. So maybe I was sort of their, um, you know, that one player. Um, but yeah, I think it's definitely really cool. Um, of them to do this and for them to like, you know, be open to changing for like social issues. Honestly, I just hope Kobe would be proud of me. Um, for me, I always felt like I, in a weird way, I wasn't worthy of knowing him personally or like having his number and um, if I wanted to be able to text him. And I always thought I should achieve more things before that. So that's like a big regret for me was that I didn't really um, talk to him as much as I wanted to. Um, but 
Yeah, I, I just, I hope that my actions and what I do in the future would make him proud. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, it's really cool to be able to play Vika now um, because I played her in the French last year, um, but I know that probably her best surface is hardcore and also my best surface is hardcore, so I think it'll definitely be a really fun match. And I don't know, it's... It's a bit odd to play people after practicing for six months, but I feel like definitely it'll be very fun.